Hello, everybody. Warriors started Jamichael Green instead of a sick Kevon Looney. He's literally sick. Well, Jamichael Green was playing off of Vanderbilt in order to clog up the paint to discourage people like Anthony Davis from attacking the basket. Vanderbilt is a career 29% three-point shooter, so Jermichael Green and the Warriors are desperate to have him take this shot. And the second Vanderbilt goes into a shooting motion, Jermichael Green immediately turns to get in position to rebound. This misses by so much, it takes a weird skip. Rebound right to Steph. Steph has a kind of hypnotic counterattack. He's got the one sweeping behind the back dribble, and then Anthony Davis comes to contest him, so Steph with a second behind the back dribble finds Mesmerize the Lakers defense. Jermichael Green ready in the corner for a catch and shoot. LeBron does have to come out and contest this, but in the meantime, Reeves and Vanderbilt following Steph. Jermichael Green already seeing that Wiggins is going to be open at the top, and just in case he doesn't see it, Steph is throwing a thumb over his shoulder saying, throw it to the top. Jermichael could be a little more alert on this pin-in. It should be automatic whenever Steph runs at you on the sideline that you screen his defender, but Jermichael Green's a little rusty, and Andrew Wiggins strokes this very open three. Jermichael Green continues to ignore Vanderbilt on the perimeter. Even though Draymond is the primary defender on Anthony Davis, Jermichael Green just serving to clog up the paint as much as possible. The Lakers did try to punish Jermichael Green's defense with mixed results. On this play, Vanderbilt tires of being ignored and he tries to angle in for a 45 degree cut. But Jermichael Green, aware of his original man, and he edges out to make this pass impossible. LeBron does a step through move here. Very tempting for Jermichael Green to challenge this, but I like that he does not and he just stays attached to his man Vanderbilt, reaching out a little hand of brotherhood. So LeBron has to take this pretty high degree difficulty shot. Draymond battling. Anthony Davis is a lot bigger, but look at Draymond using the principles of physics here to get leverage on Anthony Davis to keep him away from the basket. In contrast to game one, the Warriors ran a lot more. High pick and roll for Steph with whoever Anthony Davis is guarding. Draymond Green, the simple screen. Steph takes it and Anthony Davis has to stay close enough to contest in case Steph launches. When the Warriors were running motion offense, Anthony Davis could just sit in the paint and swat anything that came by. So now look at all this space behind Anthony Davis. Also, Jermichael Green being here instead of Looney. If this was Kevon Looney, LeBron could practically put himself anywhere on the court. But here, LeBron feels like he has to kind of stay in the vicinity. Draymond Green puts himself in the perfect spot for Steph Curry's pocket pass. Now, Draymond has a free run to the basket. LeBron James has to contest this. Draymond pass, which is a little sloppy, but Jermichael Green is so insanely open that it doesn't matter. D'Angelo Russell a little late rotating to the corner, and Jermichael Green stays ready. Stagger screen across the top. Jermichael Green is guarding Vanderbilt, the last screener, so he has to jump out. And just in case he's not sure, Draymond Green is reaching out to give Jermichael a push and it's probably in his ear as well. So Jermichael Green with his hard show to stop D'Angelo Russell. Behind him, these two screeners are rolling. So we got Anthony Davis going, and Draymond definitely has to pick up this role. And then right behind him is Jared Vanderbilt. Jermichael Green, having showed hard, is now trying to recover to his man. LeBron James with a really suave pass. Vanderbilt attacks a slightly surprised Jermichael Green. Draymond Green did not trust that Jermichael could stay with Vanderbilt, and so he rotates. Nice find by Vanderbilt in high traffic, a little dump off to Anthony Davis. Draymond Green, total awareness. He sees Anthony Davis sliding to the floor, temporary out of the play, so Draymond Green rushes to inbound the ball. Now we have a five on four. Draymond Green is threatening to set the screen, so D'Angelo has to stick around to help guard this. That means that there is a subtle two on one happening over here. Jermichael Green with a really good cut down the middle, making LeBron choose to guard him or Andrew Wiggins. Great no-look pass from Steph. LeBron sees it coming, but it's not 2016 anymore, and Jermichael Green gets this dunk in. So, 
Great game from Jermichael Green. The spacing on the floor definitely looks a lot better when you split up Draymond and Looney. If Jermichael Green can keep on hitting his wide open threes, then that will punish the Lakers for playing off of him or force the Lakers to give more space to the other Warriors. The Lakers did have some success running plays at Jermichael Green and they probably are going to game plan more of that. The very next play we have Vanderbilt going to the floor so the Warriors say let's go. Clay with antsy feet pointing to Wiggins saying come on throw it to me throw it to me let's go and here comes the pass. Anthony Davis has to pick up Clay. He has to close out hard. Clay just steps right by him. Pretty much the end of the game. Let's do a quick celebration audit. We'll use our advanced lip reading technology to see what Clay has to say about that game breaking three. Mother Muffin Warriors. Let's go. Thank you, Clay, for your timely reminder that it is almost time to be Mother Muffin Warriors. Mother's Day is around the corner. If you celebrate Mother's Day, I bet the maternal figure in your life would enjoy some nice home-baked pastries 